When considering drought as a possible cause for a tree that is struggling to survive, remember that the root system of a tree spreads laterally. If the root system is compromised in some way, both the drought and an injury are responsible for the tree's demise. Roots that girdle stems are a major cause of tree decline, especially if coupled with dry weather. Here, a property owner allowed an extension cord to add another factor to cause damage. Cankers compromise the tree's ability to move water up and down the trunk and into branches. Look for these signs when considering other factors that work with drought to damage trees. Borers can really degrade the cambium of tree trunks and branches. Water moves through cambium in the tree. If the tree is growing in dry soils to begin with, borer damage ends up being a double whammy for the demise of woody plants. Proper planting depth is key to helping trees develop proper root systems so they can get enough moisture to thrive. Here's a hint. If the lowest tree branch is actually coming out of the soil or root ball, the tree was planted too deep. Trees that break off at the soil line following a storm were probably planted too deep as well. Mulch around trees can either help or hurt in terms of retaining soil moisture and lessening the effects of the drought. The goal is to keep the soil moist, not the trunk. The separation of turf and ornamentals is a key landscape design technique for the aesthetic value of mass void, the casting of the ornamentals against a monochromatic or single color background. This makes the colors and textures more vivid and also serves functionality as well. Turf requires more water and fertilizer than trees do, and if the turf is being watered well enough to keep it healthy, a tree is probably being overwatered. The history of the site is a key factor as well. Consider mechanical injury, compaction of the soil, addition of soil to change the grade, and any changes that may have occurred recently. In some cases, it may be necessary to contact the previous owner of the property to find out the history. Herbicide damage is always a possible cause of injury, especially on an acreage. If the leaves and stems are not injured for several years in a row, the tree has a good chance of surviving. If the tree is drought stressed, herbicide damage increases the potential for decline. A good way to determine if drought is a possible issue is to measure the growth rate of the tree over the past few months. Identify the bud scars to distinguish between years. If the tree puts on only a few inches of growth each year, or there is a reduction in the growth rate, then drought is a possible cause. Burnt looking foliage is a natural, almost iconic symptom of drought injury. It can vary from year to year, so be careful not to assume that symptoms like these are automatically drought related. They also could be caused by salt for de-icing, root damage, or an insecticide application made on a warm day. Foliar diseases combined with drought can lead to the death of a tree. In this case, the cedar apple rust can cause enough defoliation to weaken the tree so that when extended drought occurs, the two work together to cause an undesirable result. Yes, drought kills trees, but more often than not, there's another cause contributing to the demise of a tree. Look for the obvious, check into the history of the site, and consider current conditions. This program was written by John Fesch, and I'm Jan Hingstrom, both with the University of Nebraska Extension.